Okay, here's a little spritzer, atomizer, for watering delicate plants or something. I don't know what it does. Killing little insects, if you fill that with insecticide. Anyway, I'm going to do a drawing using Sketch Club. I'm going to do two drawings of this thing. One using white paper, a white background with black, adding dark, dark layers to get the image. And the other one doing the same, but in reverse. And it's the reverse that I tend to like most these days. So I, I love using the vector tool in Sketch Club. And I start, I'll just put it all the way down to black and I'm only going to change the grayscale by using the no, by using the slider here. And what just happened? Nothing happened. So hopefully, I'm working in the dark here, so hopefully it won't um, I mean, you'll see what I'm doing here. Uh, I need, is this going to bother me? No, not really. I'm just adding a little bit of light to the object. So I start by adding shapes with this pen tool. Let me also record it here so we see what it looks like. And I'll upload these on my Instagram page. So here's the top part. And I'm drawing it out. <clears throat> Just making shapes here. The background is this leather couch, which I'm also including. It's so hard for me to do it this way because I'm so used to doing it the other way, meaning drawing with light on dark. Here, here you draw, most, most of the time you draw with white paper and dark pencil or dark pen, and you're drawing the shadows. You're drawing the dark parts of a thing rather than the light parts of a thing. And I'm so used to drawing the other way around that this is different for me. I don't have, I have it set, oh, that's why it's not working. Gradient, I like it on gradient, where you see certain areas are darker than, than light, so that's what I meant to have been doing the entire time. So, eventually things are going to get darker. These, there's the, the lightest spot is actually right there, which I've already made dark, so I'm going to have to go back and add light. I'm going to make the dark a little darker here. Build up the darks. Drawing things in, drawing glass and making it look like glass, you have to draw what's behind it, otherwise it will just look solid. It won't look transparent until you add the, the background. So here this shadow that's cast sort of by the thing. Also, you can see the shadow through the glass. Now, why is glass casting a shadow, you ask? Well, it's dirty glass. Which is sort of the color of everything I have in my house is sort of dirty. So let me, the very darkest areas here are this part of the cap, this part of the thing here. This is again where shadow is hitting the 
the thing. Light is coming from my yonder window and the light I turned on is really just creating one little tiny bit of reflection right here. So let's make everything dark, er, and then I can go in with this light bit and add just a little bit of light on the spots that are lighter. A little spot right there, mainly right there, there, and there's a little bit right there. And then the couch itself, the leather, is reflective a little bit. So this is essentially how I draw with white on light, with dark on light. Export. Okay, so I'm saving that drawing. I'm also going to save that, and I'll just keep the movie going. What the hell. So now we go to the other one, and we'll start it with black. Now this is how I normally draw, so this should be much more comfortable for me to, to draw this way. So I have it set at white. This is way down here, and now I'm going to draw it the other way. You'll probably see that I'm drawing faster. And I can't I can't talk and draw at the same time. So here's how that works, but I want to, the couch is essentially lighter than everything. So I'm just going to do this, oops, didn't mean to do that, back, up, around, do that again. the handle. Try that again from this side. Go here. We have to add the shadow here. There's some Lights happening here on the shiny leather, reflective leather. Okay, so there we are so far. Let's step it up a bit. The opacity I just made bigger. That's too much. A little bit there. There's the lightest areas right there. I don't know. Oops. Thumb made that noise. Oh, there's another little bit of light right there. Go back to subtle gradation.
Oops. Okay, I'll save this one. I'm not really done, but it's done enough. Save. And I'm just going to add color on this one. I'm going to pretend I was doing this in color. Normally I would do color earlier in the process. See if I can turn this into a color image. And have it be workable. Okay, there's our couch. Well, now we can add more varieties of color. The reflected light from the window is a little cooler. The warm light from my lamp is a little warmer. So we get to include that. Here's, quote, the cooler light. Usually when I play with color, I sort of pretend it's paint by number. You know, I've got my color on my brush, so I just attack all of the things that are that color. So the, the light from my incandescent lamp that's above me that way is making this reflection and making the some of the area of the couch warmer in tone where the rest is a little cooler. Okay, let's now the glass, the dusty dirty glass is a little I don't know bluish is maybe not quite the right term but it's almost bluish so is this light from yonder window is kind of blue okay let's uh add uh dustiness to the shape of the bear, the bottle here, the glass. It is almost blue. Kinda, kinda sorta. But it's this bronze color. This yellowy color here that will help help this drawing I think. Highlight here. Right there. This isn't quite in the right spot. This stem here is much, much, much narrower, so let's fix that. like I didn't fix it, but that I made it correct from the beginning. Sometimes I have to st sort of start over. Back to this bronze color. Now there's a little bit of bluish tonality And that on this, God damn it, right here on this edge, it almost seems kind of blue. So 
So, zoom out, zoom in. So I'm going to add a little bit of blue here. Just a little bit for shits and giggles. That's all. And now we... Damn it. Zoom back out again. I'm going to make these highlights. Which... I moved my eyeball. It's not, they're not visible from where I'm looking right now, but they were at one point. Make these warmer. Now let's just do it right. God damn it. Let's get rid of it first. Erase it. Um, while I'm doing it, while I'm erasing, let me get rid of this as well. You really can't see the color of the leather through the dirty glass, but I do, I think I need to add some just to make it look like glass, even if they can't see it in the actual thing. The glass is actually lighter on this edge. Okay, let's add those little sparkles and we'll just call it a day. Bright, orangish light. Full intensity here. And let's just add our... There. Yep, it has to be more than that. You can't see it because the camera isn't showing it right, but you'll see if you want on my Instagram page. So if if the hardware on this thing, if the brass was um, a little bit of that blue right here, and right up here. Drawing, so here are the three the three drawings are, oops, well, there's the white, there's the other one, and I didn't save it when it was completely black and white, which I should have done. I saved a copy of it, um, that'll be on my Instagram. So here's the movie, I'll make it, save it going fast, so here's how I made it. Adding, and I made it the other way, and then I added color. Ta-da! Here it is again. to photo library. So these will be on my on my Instagram account. You'll be able to see all three versions. Thanks for watching.